but love. And I'll be baptized. Henceforth, I will never be Romeo. What man art thou that thus be screened in night so stumblest on my counsel? By a name. I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself because it is an enemy to thee. Had I written, I would tear the word. My ears have not yet drunk a hundred words of that tongue's uttering. And I know the sounds. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find me here. With love's light wings that I will perch these walls. For stony limits cannot hold love out, and what love can do that dares love attempt. Therefore, thy kinsmen are no stop to me. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. I would not for the world have saw thee here. I have night's cloak to hide me from their eyes. And but thou love me, well, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death prorogued wanting of thy love. How's the, by whose direction found us thou out this place? By love! Romeo! That first did prompt me to inquire. He led me counsel, and I let him eyes. I am no pilot, and yet were thou as far as the back shore, washed with the farthest sea. I would adventure for such merchandise. <laughs> Thou knowest the mask of night is on my face. Else would a maiden blush to paint my cheek for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight. But fain would I dwell in form. Fain, fain deny what I spoke. But farewell, compliment. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word. O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond, and therefore thou mayst think my behavior light. But trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more coin to be strange. I should have been more strange, I must confess. But seeing that thou overheardest ere I was for my truest passion, therefore pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love, which the dark night has so discovered. A lady. Uh-huh. By yonder blessed boon, I vow that tips with silver all these fruit trees. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon that monthly changes in our circle orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. Okay, so what shall I swear by? <laughs> <laughs> Do not swear at all. Or if thou wilt, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I will believe thee. If my heart's dear, love oh, did say. Well, do not swear. Although I join thee, I have no joy in this contract to know. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning that thou cease to be, ere one could say it lightnings. Sweet, good night. This flood of love by summer's ripening breath will prove a beauteous flower when next you meet. Good night, good night. Pardon me such sweet sorrow that I should say good night to the tomorrow. Wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I did give thee mine before thou didst request it. And yet, I would it were to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? It's for what purpose, love? <laughs> but to be frank, and give it thee again. And yet, I wish but for the thing I have. My bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is thee. The more I give to thee, the more I have. For both are infinite. Julia! I hear noise within. Damn. Dear love, adieu. A nun, good nurse. Sweet Montague, be true. 
Stay but a little. I will come again. <laughs> oh, blessed, blessed night. I am afeard, it being night, all this is but a dream. It's too flattering sweet to be substantial. Three words to Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bed of love be armed, thy purpose merit. Send me word tomorrow if I've won the alpha cheer to come to thee, where and what time thou wilt perform the right. And all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madam, I come, a nun. But if thou meanst not well, I do beseech thee. Madam, by and by I come. <sighs> to cease thy strife and lead me to my grief. Tomorrow will I send. So bright, my soul. A thousand times. Good night. A thousand times the worst to walk thy light. Love goes toward love, as schoolboys from their books. But love from love, toward school with heavy looks. It is my soul that calls upon my name. Romeo! My dear? What o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? To by the hour of nine. I will not fail. Just twenty years till then. I have forgot why they called it that. Let me stand here till thou remember it. I shall forget, having thee still standing here, remembering how I love thy company. And I'll still stay, to have thee still forget, forgetting any other home but this. It is almost morning. I would have thee gone, yet no further than a wanton bird. I would, I were thy bird. Sweet, so would I. And yet, I would kill thee with much cherishing. <laughs> oh, good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sleep well upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. When I was sleep in peace, so sweet to rest. <laughs> Hence why I go to my ghostly sister's close cell. Her help to crave and my dear half to tell. Like a drunkard reels from forth day's path and tightens fiery wheels. <laughs> now, before the sun advances, burning eye, the day to cheer and night's dank dew to dry, I must have filled this osier cage of ours with baleful weeds and precious juice and flowers. Oh, good morning. This right already. Perfect. Look how big you are. Oh, Mickle is the powerful grace that lies in herbs, plants, stones, and their true qualities. For not so vile that on the earth doth live, but to the earth some special good doth give. Nor aught so fair, but strained from that fair use, revolts against true birth, stumbling toward abuse. Virtue itself turns vice. <sighs> Being misapplied, and vice, 
sometime by action dignified. Gamara, <laughs> sister. Benedicte. Young son, it argues a distempered head so soon to bid good morrow to thy bed. Therefore, thy earliness doth me assure thou art aroused by some distemperature. Or if not so, then here I hit it right. Our Romeo hath not been in bed tonight. That last is true. The sweet arrest was mine. God pardon sin. What's that with Rosaline? <laughs> <laughs> my ghostly sister, no. I forgot that name and that name's woe. That's my good son, but where hast thou been then? I'll tell thee, ere thou ask it me again. I have been feasting with mine enemy, where, on sudden, one hath wounded me, and by me, wounded me. Be plain, good son, and homely in thy drift. Riddling confession finds but riddling shrift. Well, then plainly know that my heart's dear love is set on the fair daughter of rich Capulet. Yeah! As mine on hers, so hers is set on mine. Say what thou must abide by holy marriage. Marriage. When and where and how we met, we wooed, and made exchange of vow. I'll tell thee as we pass, with this I pray. That thou consent to marry us today. Holy Saint Francis, what a change is here. Is Rosaline, whom thou didst love so dear, so soon forsaken? I see that young men's love them lies not truly in their hearts, but in their eyes. Jesu Maria, what a deal of brine hath washed thy sallow cheeks for Rosaline. How much salt water thrown away in waste to season a love that of it doth not taste. Thou chidest me off for loving Rosaline. For doting, not for loving people. Man. And badest me bury love? Not in a grave the one to lay in another out to have. I pray thee, chide not. Her I love now. Doth grace for grace and love for love allow. The other did not so. Oh, she knew well thy love did read by rote that could not spell. <laughs> but come, young waver, come and go with me. For in one respect all thy assistant be, for this alliance may so happy prove to turn your household's rancor into pure love. Wow! Oh, let us haste! I stand on sudden haste! <laughs> Wisely and slow, they stumble that run fast. <clears throat> The devil should have thrown me a beer. He not home tonight? Not to his father's. I spoke with his man. That same pale-hearted wench, that Rosaline torments him so that he will sure run mad. Tybalt, the kinsman to old Capulet, hath sent a letter to his father's house. The challenge? On my life! Romeo will answer it. Any man that can write may answer a letter. Nay, he will answer the letter's master, how he dares being dared. Alas, poor Romeo. He is already dead. Stabbed the white wench's black eye. Shot through the ear with a love song, the very pit of his heart cleft the blind old boy's butt shaft. And is he a man to encounter Tybalt? Why? What is Tybalt? More than Prince of Cats. He is the courageous captain of compliments. He fights as you sing brick song. Keeps time, distance, proportion. He rests his minimum rest. A one, two, and a third in your bosom. The very butcher is to the butt. A duelist. A duelist. A gentleman of the very first house. Of the very first and second cause. The immortal Posada, the country reversal of the hive. The what? <laughs> Pops of some anti listening affecting fantasy minds. These new tutors of accents. By Jesus, a very tall man, a very good plate, a very good whore. And why? Is not this a lamentable thing, grandsire? That we should be thus afflicted with these strange flies, these fashion mongers, these pardon moires, and stand still much in the new form, that they cannot sit at ease on the old bench. Oh, their bones, their bones! Here comes Romeo. Here comes Romeo. Without his rods, like a dried herring. Oh, flesh, flesh, how art thou fishified? He be you. Yeah. 